there are various big data projects being implemented on various industry one of the biggest industries retail industry retail industry is very big industry that is having huge customer base and huge customer base is generating huge data and using the data we can do a lot of analytics based on the customer behavior and targeting the user and sales analytics one of the main thing what we can do is customer behavior analytics there are huge customer base and how they are behaving online how they are coming how they are clicking the website based on that we can change our website we can improve our sales strategy and we can place the products in the order in a different manner that can impact the sales and one more thing is targeted analytics so this is also one of the very important one you may be interested in some product and your friend may be interested in some other product so those days are gone showing the product to everybody now they can choose what you like and they can show only those advertisement to you and you the chance of buying you is more that's called targeted promotion and something is called sales analytics this is a this is something like they have already the data and they are doing the analytics for the last 3 months how the sales has happened where the sales has happened how the sales has happened and based on that based on those analytics they can improve the sales in the future like next 3 months one year they can make the plan they can make the strategy okay uh, for all this analytics from where they can get the data the data is actually being given to them by us by the clients by the internet everywhere we are the data provider the basic thing is if you are going to the amazon and buying something some phone that is generating a data that is called transactional data that data is being stored in database and that can be easily analyzed and that can be used for analytics and that can be used for multiple ways that's called transactional data is that the only data that we are giving no you just going to the website and scrolling and seeing the website and doing window shopping that is being generated and that is being stored as a web logs that can be easily tracked how you are doing how long you are being in there and how long you are being the site that can be easily tracked recently facebook has already like showed us how they are doing it and one more thing is search data this this is a search we are doing online like google if you are searching for some product you are going to get the advertisement in the next two days in your whatever site you are uh, checking on and what is the next step once we find all the sources of data what is the next step next step the data are there in various formats and various sources like databases web logs google data everywhere we have to bring all the data all the formats into hadoop first that's bringing up the data into one place and once we get the data the data is still in different formats so we have to cleanse the data we have to remove the bad characters we have to clean the data we have to make it work make it to the next layer and then once everything is done once our data is made a structured and whatever the structure we want to do it and we can join that different data set and store it in the perfect places where the next layer can be used and they can do analysis and create a dashboard on top of it so is that it that's the projects it's all about yeah that's it but wait for all the analytics whatever we have done the data is already there already it's available it's called batch processing the data is built already generated and it's being stored and you just bought up and do the analytics what if something you want to do online on streaming let's say the class the client wants to find us what is the sales that's happening right now in the stores how many people are there in the store how many sales happened in the last one hour that's called streaming analytics or stream processing can that be done using hadoop yes of course that can be also done using hadoop but using different set of tools different set of architecture those are the things which is currently booming in the industry that we will see in our next video how that is being done how the things are getting architected over there if you like this video you can like and you can share your thoughts if you know some other use cases in this retail industry you can share us you can comment in the box below we'll see in the next video with more technical videos like this bye bye thank you